Bob Crane, the star of Hogan's Heroes, working with Hollywood beauties. Then his life ended in a mysterious tragedy. Now, 11 years later, a new weapon in medical technology may solve one of Hollywood's most scandalous murders. Welcome to Inside Edition. I'm Bill O'Reilly. We're glad you're with us today. Somebody killed Bob Crane, the star of Hogan's Heroes, and got away with it. But now the investigation is heating up again. Almost 12 years ago, Crane was found beaten to death in Arizona. The circumstances surrounding his murder were bizarre, to say the least and police could not solve the case. Their last hope rests in new scientific developments. Here's Cynthia Allison. For six years, Bob Crane held TV audiences captive on Hogan's Heroes, playing the comical leader of a wacky group of prisoners in a Nazi concentration camp. Huh? <laughs> now, look at that. I can only look at that. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's what I want for Christmas, Schultz, and don't bother wrapping it. Bob Crane's Colonel Hogan may have been a wholesome hero on television, but away from the set, his dealings with the opposite sex were much more bizarre. Uh, his sexual activities kind of turned a lot of people's eyebrows up. Uh, whenever he traveled on the road, he always took a lot of video equipment with him. So he used to like to photograph his sexual exploits with young ladies uh, all over the country, particularly in Scottsdale. And it was in that sleepy Arizona resort town where Crane was appearing in dinner theater that the raps finally came off his secret double life. On the afternoon of June 29, 1978, Crane's co-star, Victoria Berry, seen here in an exclusive rehearsal video shot just hours earlier, made a grisly discovery at his rented ground floor apartment. She found him uh, curled up in the fetal position with blood all over the ceiling and everything else, um, bludgeoned to death. He was hit twice over the left side of the head with a blunt and heavy instrument that caused massive skull fractures and massive brain damage. Just a few feet away were Crane's video recorders and cameras. None of the expensive equipment was missing, and nothing had been stolen from the apartment. But after a fruitless search for fingerprints, detectives looked at the explicit sex tapes they found. And at first, they concluded the murder might be the gruesome handiwork of a boyfriend or husband of one of Crane's subjects. It was a possibility that we did look at at the time. However, no uh, evidence uh, surfaced that... Uh led us to believe that that was a, the fact. Instead, while Crane was finally laid to rest in Hollywood, the investigation started to center on a mysterious friend of Crane's named John Carpenter. Police say Crane had last been seen alive at an all-night coffee shop with his longtime friend. The following morning after Crane's murder, police say Carpenter hurriedly flew back to California, leaving his rental car at Phoenix Airport. Within 24 hours, it was discovered that uh, the rental car that Mr. Carpenter had uh, contained some blood on the passenger door panel and uh, then the investigation began to focus at that point. At that time uh, the only blood testing we had available was to uh, either determine if the blood was human or animal and then the type of blood. Uh, it was determined that the blood was human blood and that it was the same blood typing as Bob Crane. Carpenter was questioned at the Scottsdale Police Department and could not explain the blood stain. Yet he was released without ever being charged. The evidence you need to arrest somebody is quite a bit different from the evidence you need to convict someone. Uh, at that time, the county attorney's office felt that the circumstantial evidence that we had was not enough to obtain a conviction. Since then, Carpenter has lived with his wife on a quiet street in the desert community of Hemet, California, refusing to talk to the police or media as Inside Edition's Malcolm Boyd's discovered. Hi, Mrs. Carpenter? Yes. I'm with John Carpenter. Is he here at the moment? No. Would you please get your camera off? Well, uh, we'd like to talk to him. Is he in town? Who are you? We're with Inside Edition. Listen, he's not here, and we don't give any interviews. If you have any, see to our attorney, Gary Clashman. Okay, could you give me his number? Yes, I will. Thank you. But after nearly 12 years, police were hoping the key to Bob Crane's murder mystery might lie behind these walls at Maryland Cellmark Diagnostic Laboratories. Here they specialize in the science of DNA fingerprinting from blood samples. If the patterns of each sample match, that means they are from the same person. Police hoped the DNA fingerprinting would show the sample they had saved from the door of Carpenter's rental car was Bob Crane's blood. But Carpenter's longtime Beverly Hills attorney, Gary Fleischman, was unfazed although there's no statute of limitations for murder. 
There are cases in this country where if there's been prejudicial delay by virtue of inactivity on the part of uh, the uh, police officials, the cases ordinarily will be dismissed, and I think that's what will happen here. Fleischman has kept in regular contact with his client during the three months it takes to conduct a DNA test. Meanwhile, police still refuse to say on the record what Carpenter's motive might have been for killing the 49-year-old actor. Did John Carpenter kill Bob Crane? I don't know. I, I, I have no idea, and I don't particularly care. My job is to defend him, not to judge him. Days later, the DNA tests were concluded, with the police getting the results. As they told producer Malcolm Boys, the blood sample was too small, and the results were dubbed inconclusive. Basically, we're back where we uh, were before the testing began. Uh, we're going to continue to re-interview people who are involved in this and continue to follow up leads that come in. Do you still have a number one suspect in this case? At this point, yes. Can you tell us who that might be? At this point, uh, it's John Carpenter. Barry, do you think you'll ever get enough evidence to get a murder warrant for John Carpenter? I think that one day we'll get enough evidence together. Uh, to do that, yes. Until then, Bob Crane lives on in television reruns, but his murder remains an unsolved Hollywood mystery. Well, a review board will now look at new evidence in April. Carpenter continues to deny he killed Crane. And if you have any information, call us or the Scottsdale, Arizona police. We will let you know whether a grand jury is convened after the new evidence is studied.